cloth, and she'd had several thicknesses of it, and she'd strain it to get any and trash out, out of the milk. Out of the we, milk from the cow, and did she boil it? Oh, no, uh -uh. we milk straight, straight from the cow. Straight from the cow? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, um, of course, you have you have um, eggs from the chickens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah chickens running all around ah. the yard. One time, uh, uh, my youngest brother uh, had a stick, and he was out there, and there was a hen with all the little baby chicks walking around, around the yard, and he was trying to hit them. Uh -huh. And uh, Mama, she must have spanked him or something. Or <laughs> and another, and later on, he was out there in the yard, he said, Mama, I'm not going. I'm not going to hurt your baby chicks. I'm not going to hurt your baby, baby chicks. chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Had pigs every fall. <laughs> He'd uh, um, kill, have hog killing mm. in the fall. And uh, did you have a freezer? No, no freezer. It preserved the milk. Put you put preserved the the meat, the hog meat. Yeah, hog meat. and had a smoke house where you put it. Oh, the smoke, the smoke house. house. Okay. Wow, amazing. Bread, chicken, meat, uh, bread, um, eggs, milk, meat. Wow, you had everything. I mean, vegetables, he, vegetables fruits. Yeah, yeah he, we had the fruit. And in the summertime, <coughs> around our, our place, <coughs> our, our town, there's a lot of peach orchards. Back then, peach orchards and there's a lot of uh, peach houses. Mm -hmm. and, uh, peach, peach. In the summertime, my father would, uh, they'd have, uh, the railroad uh, had uh, the ice, cars, well, I, don't know, I guess they had ice in them, I don't know how they did, in the refrigerated cars, I'd call them. Mm -hmm. And he... Uh, ice cars, worked, refrigerated uh, cars. Okay. And he would... He would pack. He would work at the railroad track and and uh, uh, put the peaches in the rail, in the ice cars. And uh, my two brothers right under me, uh, they would they would go help him. They were they were little boys, and we got a picture of them. Both of them were, were little, and uh, they had on their aprons, and they had they must have had to nail them. Some had. And they had their aprons on that had pockets in it where they kept the nails. Yes. And when you put those, those uh, uh, crates of peach, peaches in a peach car, you, somewhere or another you had to nail them. Anyway, they, were, they must have been about 10 years old, mm -hmm. 10, 11, or 12, or somewhere along in there. Mm -hmm. And they would help him. And he'd bring peaches home, uh, you know. You, and, and Lucy Lady and I worked at the peach shed, and we graded peaches, you know, if the they are soft, they've got a spot on them, so yes. you got to take mm -hmm. them off. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, there'd be a lot of those kind of pictures, and uh -huh. uh, you could take them home. Oh, uh, okay. with you. And uh, then people would bring those pictures to Papa at the, shed, at the pe railroad station. And he'd bring them home, and Mama would boil them in a big old pot, Pop that back, that big around, mm -hmm. and she'd fill that thing full of peaches and boil them and put a little sugar in there. Make a and, jam or a jelly? No, we'd eat them that way. You did it that way. Yeah, yeah. not real sweet. Not real sweet. Not real sweet. Just they were, they were real real good. People don't do that now. And she'd make a cake for everybody's favorite cake, like mine, mine, and my daddy's cake was caramel. She'd always make a caramel cake. And Lillian and Mama liked coconut. That was that thing. She'd make a coconut cake. And Lucille was chocolate. She'd make a chocolate cake. And she'd make a pancake with nuts and raisins in it. Mm -hmm. That kind of cake. And uh, she made what she called a Japanese fruit cake. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had that? Do you mm -hmm. know what that is? Oh, that's good. And um, Japanese fruit cake. It's the other kind. And that big old sideboard. It's a da David's got it. Big old sideboard. And she'd have the cakes lined up all the, up and down that sideboard. And uh, they never were cut until Christmas and Santa Claus cut them first when he came. And Santa the next Claus. morning when we went, when we got up, Santa Claus had cut some of those cakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> 
Santa Claus, your dad. <laughs> <laughs> and Santa Claus always brought us a, a ra raisins. They were uh, had the, still had the seeds in them. They came in a box a little bit bigger than this. It was a wooden box, and uh, they were raisins, uh, the big raisins, still on the stem with seeds in them. And of course, we had a lot of pecans back then, and uh, eating with eat pecans and raisins and together that was real good. Wow, and, that's uh, nice. And those pecan trees, Papa had them uh, all up and down the well. He uh, the houses across the street. Uh, he at one time owned, owned that land, mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, what was I fixing to tell you? Uh, that land he gave. He and a man at the end of the street was named Mr. Howell, mm. and he and Mr. Howell owned all of that all that street there. This is a little short street, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it was named Howell Street. That's the man at the other end. Anyway, uh, Papa and that man owned that, uh, uh, gave that man for a road through there. Mm -hmm. What I was fixing to tell you is about the con trees. Mm -hmm. He used dynamite to, to, there's a lot of rock in the ground around there, mm -hmm. and he used dynamite to make the holes, plant his pecan trees, and he planted them all up and down that street, pecan trees. But now, that that pecan was called a mobile, mm -hmm. and it was a dry nut, it wasn't a very good nut. But now, they've improved the nuts so much that that's not a nut anybody knows anything about now. Mm -hmm. But that was, but he, uh, every Thanksgiving, we uh, gathered the pecans and he used that money to pay the taxes on his land. Oh. He, that's what he said his pecan trees were, were for, for his taxes. Yes, very, very valuable. And of course we had the, all the figs we wanted and we had, he had apple trees and pear trees and uh, we didn't, we never had heard of a blueberry back then. <laughs> <laughs>